Welcome back to the hip hopinest show on the planet. Nice intro. <laughs> I feel like we're we're sobering up slightly. I'm not. Are you not? No. I'm bet I'm dude. I, I Wait, do you mean sobering up in terms of alcohol? Yeah. Oh right. What did you think I meant? I don't know, like sobering up in terms of like our view on Sonic. <laughs> like real starting to realise it's an appallingly bad hey, game. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying I'm drunk, Angus? Drunk on Sonic. It's <laughs> a good point. I, I think that. you are a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean, in terms of day to day life. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good point. I think I think you might be on something there. Um, no, I was going to bring up a point. Yeah. Um, so, this is the only 3D Sonic game that I think has translated the, the 2D Sonic formula and made it work in 3D. Like, the, every other 3D Sonic game tries something new. Yeah. And Fails. most of it is bad. Yeah. Like eighty percent of it is awful. Oh shit. Um, and you got that. yeah, yeah. Like every other uh, every other time, it's been something different. There's this thing in the Sonic franchise called uh, the boost to win formula, where we've already touched on it before. Like, I mean, the, the, me where you just press one fucking button, and it does it. Yeah, 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 you just press one button to win. Yeah, the, that's win kind button. of been incorporated into the 3D Sonics now as well with the boost button. Yeah, like if you hold B, you'll just boost and you'll just fly through the levels. And Generations has that a bit actually. Mm. Um, but this is like, because to me, a 2D Sonic game is like a 2D platformer, right? Yeah. Where you go fast. Yeah. That's essentially what it is. It's Mario but faster. Yeah. So. And the good thing about Sonic games is, and we've already brought this up in a separate episode, yeah. is if you're good at the games and you've played them quite a, like quite a lot Enough. and you know all the routes, yeah. you can go through the levels without dying and without getting hit and losing your speed. Uh -huh. That's the point of Sonic. Yeah. That's where the fun lies. That's where yeah, the momentum. Games. With other 3D Sonic games, I feel like s speed is it's a prerequisite. You just get it. It's like you don't have to earn it. It's just there. You can have it any time. Oh, you mean like current sort of games? Yeah, 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 like really current ones. Are we supposed to be upside down? Yeah, we're yeah. running down the side of a building. Okay, cool. Bayonetta is fast. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that game, dude. Um, starts to remind me of when we played Revengeance. Metal Gear. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Go, go watch go those watch, videos. Yeah, go watch the Revengeance videos. Some they have good, they, good time. They have a very good time. Yeah, no, I had a lot of fun. Um, Even they, if it was in the middle of summer and boiling hot in this room. <laughs> yeah. They they uh, they guest star a special guest, don't they? Uh, uh, someone who we've already slacked off millions of times in this playthrough. His name? In mean, case you forgot. Christian Bale. No, Isaac. Oh right, yeah. No, no, uh, yeah, no, Isaac. He was not a special guest. He was he was uh, he, he was, was one of the the other guests. What is going on with the camera? So am I a special guest right now? No, you've already been on the show. Okay, so I'm just a regular Fucking guest. Think. But, but I was special. a special guest when we played Metal Gear Rising. Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. Because you hadn't been on the show. And so do was... I like earn a little medal each time I come on the show? Yeah, here's eventually what... I'm just going to be a co-host. But do you see what I'm saying? Hmm? This is a 3D Sonic game, and in 2D Sonic games, how you've got to think about it is um, you're going from left to right. So everything's two-dimensional, and it's only um, you don't have to think about three-dimensional shit. Yeah. When you're translating something into 3D, you have to think about depth yeah, yeah, of course. and there's another like, dimension, yeah, another dimension well. and shit. So how do you translate the formula into 3D? Well, I think they kind of did it quite well here because if you look at the levels, they have higher routes that are harder to stay on and are more challenging if you're if you're good at the game you can stay on them. Yeah. But you won't discover them if you unless you you know unless you find them. Yeah. So there's an exp exploration aspect to the game. Um, and the lower routes are more treacherous, but they're kind of like there's no sorry yeah. they're easier, there's but balance. there's less balance. speed. There's balance. There's a balance. Yeah. You really do not get that in any other like no. 3D Sonic game apart from this one. Even Adventure Two, even Adventure Two. Adventure Two is just like is like a it kind of feels like it's on the rails, you know. You're Definitely, just like... it's very linear. The the level design is very very linear, mm. which a lot of people find a bit disconcerting. But I, I don't mind it. I mean, th that game was going for a bit of a more linear feel. Yeah. There's no hub worlds in that one. Yeah, I just not something I don't like. You don't like. It's not an adventure. I don't know how they can call it Sonic Adventure. There's no adventure yeah. to it, you know. Apparently there was. When are we get to the forest, man? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Is that all you're here for? Yeah, man. <laughs> like we keep on. This is the Mystic Ruins. I haven't fucking seen the, the fucking ruins yet. <laughs> well, we're getting there, Angus. If you just wait. Okay. First, we have to save. Sweet time. I love how Amy's still got that bird in her hand. 
That boat's just like, let me go. Like, I wouldn't be captured if you let go of me. Yeah, he seems he seems like he's animated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what's going on here? Do you remember? Uh, I, I don't really care. Hey, what's happening here? Who turned out the lights? <laughs> I wish he did say that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like too... Sonic's kind of like, at this point, the stake's quite high because he's losing his... I don't know, Losing love interest, mind. I guess. I don't know, I don't know if it's a love interest. You yeah. see that? The, the thing is, like, back in old school, like, cartoon comics and stuff, it made it very clear that this person was with this person, you know, it was... Yeah. Like, there was a, a romantic kind of entanglement. But, like, now, I don't know whether it's a or whatever, but, like, it's just like, oh, no, they can't be, like, an obvious... But I suppose that does open up the kind of... Uh, Will they, won't for... they? No, no, open it up for, like, you know, multifaceted genders and stuff. Yeah. To be like, you know, you can have like friendships and stuff that could mean more because it's never really heavily implied that this character's into this character or whatever. I really, so really that like. Cool, but I mean, like at the same time, it's nice when you know that something is solid. You know, when Amy I was a... and Sonic are a thing, or yeah, Earth and Cloud are a thing, or you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, what was what? Who? who wait, who was with Cloud? Oh. I've only played that game like once. I just told you why I don't play it anymore, which I'm not going to dive yeah, into yeah. now. But um, we one, one day I, I have played the game, but I don't remember who her she is. Aerith's a brown hair, the flower girl. Did she wear like uh, a brace? She, no, that's Tifa. Tifa, yeah, I'm not thinking. Aerith's the one with the pink dress. Dude, uh, whatever. Don't worry. But I really like um, progressive female characters in video games. I think mm. there are a lot more of them in these days because. Um, people who like played games with just gender stereotypes and mm. have started making games now, and they've started to realise that um, you know boys don't have to be the rule um, and girls don't have to be the exception. No, I think it's good. The um, majority of mm, female kind of like leads in games now tend to like be mm, multi gender, so like mm, Mass Effect and Dragon Age and stuff. I, uh, like yeah, that. I you I'd know, agree. Where you yeah. choose what the gender is. You I'd know? agree. Yeah, they're still. In my opinion, like, I, and I'm not a massive, like, kind of, like, kind of, like, uh, mm, someone moving forward. Like, I'm not trying to be, like, uh, you know, I'm not very good at uh, in touch with that kind of, like, uh, you know, uh, feminist side of stuff anyway. Oh, right, like, yeah, I'm yeah. more multi, kind of, like, You're not sexual. Not sort of. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not Izzah. And, uh, so I don't know a hell of a lot about it. But I still feel personally that, I mean, like, even when I got, I mean, Izzah really likes Tomb Raider, right? Yeah, I, I saw uh, some of her stuff actually online about yeah. um, how that character, like in. I think that I think the new Lara Croft is the well, I didn't like old Lara Croft and have a factory anyway. But yeah, like, I think the new Lara Croft shite. I think she's a Did really you... dull character with no sort. of... I have you played know. the game, Angus? Yeah, yeah, I've, I played. Uh, what did you think uh, the of it? Tomb Raider. I thought she was. I've, I've, I'm pretty sure I had this conversation. With her. I thought she was really boring. Same. Uh, no, I, Lara, I thought the new Lara Croft. I thought she was. For a game? I, I don't know, I, they could have made her a lot more interesting, you know. Yeah. Like, you could, like, I mean, essentially what they were going for there was Uncharted, right? They yeah, it, like did Uncharted feel, it did feel a lot. For, yeah, it's like, kind of, yeah. like, basically what I thought they were doing. Which is fine, that's cool. Like, And in fact, there were certain elements of that game that were, were better than Uncharted, in terms of the actual gameplay. Yeah. That they, they were doing something that was more interesting. But the character, like, when you compare like Lara to like Nathan Drake, you know, There's, it's not even comparable. Yeah, like, Lara Croft. It's, the new Lara Croft is so dull. What really and, helped and me Drake with Nathan Drake is is, is Chris, uh, the guy who voices him. I oh really, yeah, I yeah. really like him. Yeah, yeah. But, um, what's his name? He does. Uh, he's Chris Nolan. Yeah. Chris Nolan. It's is it something you, Nolan you North mean, or Nolan North? That's it. That's it. Yeah, it's so Nolan. Chris, North. No, Chris Nolan's the guy who did the, the Dark Knight. And oh, by the way, have you heard of the? Have you heard about the new uh, Chris Nolan movie? No. Coming out. Yeah, yeah. What What's going on? This guy, it's about this guy who really likes Spear. Right. It's called Interstellar. <laughs> <laughs> it would be even worse if I hadn't heard that fucking joke a hundred times. I can't believe I fell for that. Genuinely. I've already I, I told genuinely, you that joke, haven't I? You've told me it fucking four times already. <laughs> and every time I've been like, really? He's making a new movie? <laughs> <laughs> I I uh, I just want to get it on on <laughs> on tape. 
so sweet. So that you could be proud of yourself. No, well, I want, I want, I want people to know where this joke came from. <laughs> I'm just saying right now, I made that joke up. Okay. If you've heard it anywhere else, they, they stole it. Well, someone told someone who told someone who told you, so, you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you got me with that, dude. That's horrible. Multiple times. I'm probably going to get you a bit again, let's be honest. I wanted to say something about Tomb Raider because the thing that really broke that game for me was the uh, character progression. Um, yeah, the story thought, and the character progression is just... It's fucking... It's, 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 it's really so muddled. It's generic and boring. No, what really got it for me is that she was like this uh, kind of vulnerable, kind of like uh, starting from nowhere, uh, I'm stuck on an island sort of thing and having to use the tools around her to survive. Yeah. The second that you're given the melee attack, yeah. you can do these like over the top, like ex ex extraneous, like overkill climax kills where she like yeah, fucking yeah. mows people Actually, down. That, I, I really like doing those. What? Not, not they're, no, they're okay, but they the... don't fit with no, the yeah, progression. Say, really... Because there's one bit where she like falls. Also, the fact that she was supposed to be like. I mean, this is, uh, I can't remember the, the, the exact like, term that he's used for, that, but uh, Isaac was telling me about it, how in, in uh, uh, Uncharted, Nathan Drake's just mowing people down. 